welcome back to Real English and we're going to continue our series, our proficiency series um, with movement vocabulary, alright? So more words uh, to do with movement of our bodies that you're going to encounter typically in uh, proficiency exams, alright? So let's have a look to trudge through. Wow! In fact, just found this the other day with my proficiency class. To creep up on, to sprint, to limp, to squat, to glide, and to hover. All right. So, to trudge through. So, if you have a look at this picture, you can see these poor women. There's mud everywhere, and they are trudging through the mud. Yeah. Or these soldiers trudging through the mud. Yeah. So they're kind of like. Trudging through is kind of like like this, okay? You're going through, you're walking slowly through something that is hindering your movement, like through thick snow or mud, as I said, yeah? All right, so that is to trudge through. To walk through water, mud or snow. Strictly speaking, you wouldn't trudge through water we have a special word for that, actually. Um, you would wade through water. Um, I had to trudge through the wet snow to get to my car. I didn't have my boots, so I had to trudge through the mud. My shoes are ruined. Aha! So here you can see, uh, looks like a wild cat. It is moving very slowly and quietly. Just like these lions when they're hunting zebras, they'll get very, very close by creeping up on something. So if you're creeping up on some, someone or something, you're trying to move very quietly to get as close as you can for some reason. To move slowly and quietly. Don't creep up on me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Alright, you've probably had this before, you know, you're sitting there and someone comes up behind you and you're like, oh, oh, and they scare the life out of you. The lion crept upon the gazelle and then pounced on it. Alright, so to pounce, jump. And it's got another meaning here, um, and it's not a nice thing to say to someone. Um, I don't like him, he's a real creep. Okay, so this comes from like I think the adjective creepy. Um, it means he kind of like um, makes you feel uncomfortable. Maybe the way he or she looks at you, or you know, you've just got a bad feeling about someone. They're a creep. Okay, so I think we might know this word. Okay, as you can see in the picture, someone is running very fast. These children are sprinting down the football pitch and I'm sure we all know the sprinters in the Olympics, the 100 meters, 200 meters, probably even the 400 meters, they are sprinting, yeah, traditionally the 100 and 200 meters, yeah, so to sprint means to run extremely fast. The police sprinted after the thieves and she is the fastest sprinter in the school. She always wins the 100 and 200 meter races. Aha! So here you can see in the picture, this poor man has obviously hurt his leg. Um, and if you've hurt your leg and you can't, you know, like walk properly, you are what we call limping. Yeah, limp. Okay, you are limping. To walk in pain or discomfort. You're kind of like, almost like hopping when you walk. All right, so you've hurt yourself pretty badly. I twisted my ankle and had to limp all the way home. Ouch. What's wrong with you? Why are you limping? Aha, so if any of you go to the gym, or exercise at home perhaps, you might know this, it's a very common form of exercising. So you can see the little boy in the picture here, he is squatting, yeah? So lots of people will do this at the gym, they kind of squat, like bending their knees and kind of sitting, 
all right? Um, it's a good workout. Not that I know anything about that. No comment. Um, okay, so to sit with your knees bent, all right? Doing squats is a great form of exercise because it burns so many calories. I didn't want to get my shorts dirty, so I decided to squat instead. Because if you sit on the ground or sit on the grass, you're going to end up with a green bum. Yeah? And it's got another meaning which is really good. And you, it's quite common actually. If someone says to you, I don't know squat about this. They're basically saying, zip, zero, I don't know anything about it. Aha, so you can see someone here ice skating on a rink or a frozen pond. And here the eagle is gliding through the air. You know? So gliding is moving through the air with very little effort. Okay, you just kind of, you know, like an eagle, they use the wind or the hot air currents to glide or an ice skater, as I said, is very graceful and they glide um, across the ice. The ice skaters glided across the ice gracefully. The eagle glided over the mountains looking for prey. Alright, and oh, this is a good one. If you've ever seen one of these things, I've never been on one of these. I've just realized looking at the picture, and I really want to actually. A hovercraft amazing these things that can go over land and over sea or a very beautiful little bird here a hummingbird it hovers in midair as it's feeding from the flowers yeah so to hover is to kind of like hold your position in the air so you're static almost in the air if you will yeah to hold position the helicopter hovered above the road the hummingbird hovered while it fed on the flowers. And the hovercraft can hover, or can move, sorry, because over land and water, because it hovers. Yeah, it doesn't actually touch the surface. It's just above it. Aha, beautiful little thing here. The picture's moving. Wow, excellent. Um, and this, again, if you're a gym goer, or perhaps you've seen this on your CD player, this is a secondary meaning, so we'll get to that in meaning. To skip, all right? So to skip is this action in the, the gym with a rope, as you can see in the picture. It's also maybe little girls on the way to school will kind of skip down the road because they're so happy, yeah? Uh, for some reason, it's not meant to be very manly uh, to skip, so boys, don't do it so much, um, but to skip, yeah, skipping rope. To jump along as you walk. The girls played with a skipping rope in the playground. I was so overjoyed, I skipped all the way home. And the secondary meaning here, if I were you, I would skip the next exercise like this on a CD player, if you're listening to an album and you don't like the song, you skip it, yeah? Fast forward kind of thing. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. As per usual, we've got a little quiz for you to try and match up these words to see if you understand uh, what's happening. Um, thank you very much for watching. That's all for now. And if there's any um, particular groups of words or anything that you need help with, especially for your CPE exam or proficiency or, in fact, any exam. Get in touch and we'll help you. Alright, bye for now.